This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planters plant food. I'm Greg Spiker, Director of Hilltop Gardens here at Indiana University. And today we're going to be talking about cabbages and cold crops, basically all the things that are basically the same. You may not know, but cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, kale are all the same plant. Cauliflower, they're actually all the same plant, just different forms. So kind of think about it like petunias in different colors. They're all the same plant, they just are different shapes and sizes. So they all have a very similar taste, okay? The other thing too is they all have very similar requirements. They like it moist, they like well-enriched soils, and they like it cool, okay? So those are the kinds of things that those all do well. If you grow any of these crops when it's really hot or if they're dry, they tend to get woody and chewy and full of fiber. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that they're, they're grown quickly, they're grown with the maximum amount of moisture and they're grown with the maximum amount of fertilizer so that they're nice and tender and sweet, okay? So today we're gonna to talk about, <clears throat> you're gonna plant them all the same. So when you go to the store, you can start them from seed, but we, I like to buy transplants this time of year. And you, you get your little cabbage plants or your broccoli plants. And what you wanna do is check them to make sure that some of them will have holes like this. Um, generally that's from the little white butterflies that you think are so wonderful and great. They lay little green caterpillars that chew holes in your plants. So just check them to make sure that we're not planting them with their own, you know, mass of destruction. So check them to make sure, pull those off if you find any caterpillars. If, you're, if you do find caterpillars or your plants do get infected with it, you want to use an organic uh, control called BT, Bacillus thuringiensis. It's a naturally occurring bacteria that you, you just spray on and it basically gives the caterpillars the flu and then they die. So that's a nice easy way and it only affects caterpillars doesn't affect bees or anything else so you want to use that so let's just get started so you take them out we've got these are going to be stonehead which is a nice little round cabbage it's about that big very nice and solid good for coleslaw probably what you buy in the store take them out now these are annuals if they had lots and lots of roots wrapped around we would worry about that maybe pull some, tease some out to worry about it but these are fairly good I mean you can see a lot of dirt it's not just all white basically pull your mulch back Loosen up your soil a little bit. You know, it gets kind of hard after the summer. Open it up, stick it in. You want to make sure that this little part gets covered, okay? This, you want the top of the ball covered with soil. Firm it in. Again, remember, they're not trying to escape, so we're, it's not, we don't have to jam them in. Just want to make it firm like a cake. Put the mulch back. We're going to put a little bit. We want to make sure, again, like I said, they're heavy feeders, and we're, we're low on nitrogen this time of year. It's about a half a teaspoon. There you go. Just kind of sprinkle that in around them. We'll top dress again in about three weeks. And then, and again, like always, soak them really good. Make sure that you have good contact with the soil so the roots can again reestablish that siphon and take up water. And they can take cold, so they, they can handle some light frost and some even temperatures down into the 20s. So all of these cold crops, all these broccolis and cauliflowers, cabbages, can all take that kale, can take it down into the teens. So these will actually be good all the way up till just in our area up till about Christmas. They'll still be good in the garden. So there you go. That's the Dirt on Cabbage. I'm Greg Spiker, Director of Hilltops Gardens at Indiana University. Thanks for watching.